Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, Mr. Vice President. So, you know, we continue to look at data every single day. There are concerning reports coming out of France and Italy about some young people getting seriously ill and very seriously ill in the ICUs. We think part of this may be that people heeded the early data coming out of China and coming out of South Korea that the elderly or those with pre-existing medical conditions were at particular risk. It may have been that the millennial generation, our largest generation, our future generation um, that will carry us through for the next multiple decades. There may be disproportional number of infections among that group. And so even if it's a rare occurrence, it may be seen more frequently in that group and be evident now. So we're looking at that information very carefully. We have not seen any significant mortality in the children, but we are concerned about the early reports coming out of Italy and France. So again, I'm going to call on that generation that's part of that group that brought us innovation, particularly throughout all of their ability to look around corners and skip through games. Um, I always went level by level. I didn't realize that you could go from level three to level seven. Um, that's what they've taught us. They look for things that we don't see. We need them to be healthy. So again, not only calling on you to heed what's in the guidance, but to really ensure that each and every one of you are protecting each other. And so we cannot have these large gatherings that continue to occur throughout the country for people who are off work to then be socializing in large groups and spreading the virus. You have the potential then to spread it to someone who does have a condition that none of us knew about and cause them to have a disastrous outcome. That has resulted in bringing our private sector to the table because the test and the platform that was out there could only run between four and 12 So yeah, the reason I'm grateful for your question, because it allows me to point out that, of course, then there was backlog. There were individuals who had been tested, who hadn't had their specimen run because of the slow throughput. It's now in a high-speed platform. So we will see the number of people diagnosed dramatically increase over the next four to five days. I know some of you will use that to raise an alarm that we are worse than Italy because of our slope of our curve. To every American out there, it will be five to six days worth of tests being run in 24 to 48 hours. So our curves will not be stable until sometime next week. And so you still may have difficulty getting tests in areas that do not have significant cases. 